welcome everybody. My name is Gail Caro and I'm the art instructor for the Milford Senior Center and this is the Milford Senior Center Virtual Art Show. We're going to be showing you artwork from all of the students who attend the class. We hope you enjoy it. I'm Marie Dallas. I've been a member of the art class for about four years. I belong to also two writing groups at the Senior Center and one year at the spring show, I came to read my pieces for the writing groups and I said, mm, take a look and see what the art class does. And as I walked through seeing their work and all the interesting things they were doing, I said, yeah, I, I could do that. And that's when I started coming and I enjoy it. Gail's great. She's very, very encouraging. She's always excited about what you do. She'll pick up your piece and rush it and look at, look at this, look at this. What do you think? Isn't this great? And she's super, super encouraging. We've learned a lot of different styles. We'll spend a few weeks doing acrylics and then we'll spend a few weeks working on pastels. Sometimes uh, Gail will do a art paint, a paint and sip type picture with us that we're copying and she shows us what to look for and what to highlight in our pieces. We've done a little bit of pouring. We've done oh, spent a time doing collaging. So you really get the feeling you can always do something else if that doesn't float your boat. So it's nice. I like coming to the class because it gives you a challenge. Do this picture. And when you do original works too, Gail will always come around and point out the highlights and point out what needs to be improved or point out do you see the angle of this line here? Do you follow this shape here? So she has very helpful criticisms to improve the work. During the art show, you'll see several different portrayals of famous people, also relatives, friends, neighbors, wearing the new COVID mask and the reason we did this was twofold. We wanted to make a little lighter of what we're all going through, the stress level, et cetera, et cetera. And also it was a good trick for us to learn how to paint the face. And the reason this is so beneficial to an art student is because it gives you an opportunity to focus just on the eyes and not the entire face. And it makes it easier as we progress down the face and start introducing the nose and lips, chin, etc. It just makes life a lot easier. And I have to commend my students. They did an excellent job. Some of them are very funny, some are touching, and some are worldly. So again, keep your eye to the fact that you're going to see several different versions of the upside of wearing a COVID mask. Hello there, my name is Rita Deering, and I'm sitting here, seriously, at the Senior Center in Milford, Connecticut, having a blast. Uh, about three years ago, I decided to pursue a lifelong dream of learning how to paint. After 40 some odd years in the business world, I felt it was time to look at my creative side. So the Milford Senior Center has provided that opportunity and the opportunity to make new friends. The first piece I'd like to speak with is uh, a piece on my little night owl. I took this 
uh, copied it from a Christmas card that I saw sitting on my daughter's uh, Christmas table. And I was challenged by the, the feathers and the delicate work. It's not the first work I've done, but I really enjoyed it and surprised myself at how well I was able to accomplish it under the great direction of Gail Caro, who is our artist in residence here. The second piece has been a recent piece, and it captured some of the COVID environment that we're facing today. This young lady reminded me a lot of myself because I was almost black, jet black hair, dark eyes, and I could relate very closely to her. And I really enjoyed making this, this piece. And I named her after my own political beliefs, which are those of a conservative, uh, but I do not pledge any allegiance to a party, just for your information. The third piece I'd like to speak of was a walk in the park and it's a departure from what we've been doing recently and it was a technique that I learned on YouTube and it was a bit of palette knifing using oils. And I was very impressed by what could be done without getting so detailed in my painting. And I really love the colors and I hope you do too. And that's all I have. Thank you very much for listening. Take care. My name is Linda Stewing, and I'm a member of Gail's art class, Gail Caro. Um, since I retired from teaching, I wanted to continue learning, and the Milford Senior Center provided that opportunity for me. In Gail's class, we were talking about uh, doing port portraits that represent uh, what people are going through with the COVID. Uh, pandemic. Um, instead of doing a family member, I just thought that it would be easier for me to do a book character, which led to a comic book character, and I chose Wonder Woman. Um, this was done in acrylic paint, and I used several pictures on the internet to help me come up with this one. This painting is called Tulips in a Vase, and it is also done in acrylic. Um, I found the painting, and I like the colors, in an instruction book uh, for art. It helped me to do um, the tulips in a clear vase. This painting is a watercolor. I call it Tuscan Doorway. It's representative of um, many of the kinds of paintings that we see about Tuscany, Italy. It's a favorite subject for artists. Last of all, I wanted to do um, an animal or a pet or a bird picture and I saw this picture on a magazine um, for Connecticut wildlife and it's an eastern Connecticut blue bird. It is also in watercolor.
That's it's many, some of the paintings that I've done and I've really enjoyed taking uh, the art class with Gail Caro at the Senior Center. I'm Stephanie Smith. Uh, I'm a member of Gail Caro's uh, art class here at the Senior Center in Milford. Uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, I'm going to tell you about some of the projects we've done. First one I'm going to share with you is none other than a Milford oyster. There's an oyster festival here in Milford and this was part of a series we did 12 by 12 uh, and we compiled these together as a class and made a quilt, which is in hanging in the Milford Senior Center. But I did an extra one here uh, just because I was having a lot of fun making crazy colors with oysters. Next one is um, a drip painting. I live near the water, and so this is kind of like a uh, moment capturing the water and the waves and the fury of it all. Um, here in Milford and I kind of, you'll see that I'm kind of uh, partial to these colors because uh, I'm surrounded by the water. I go for bike rides by the water and this is what I have inside me at the moment. Here's a second drip painting or a painting that you use, Flow Troll, which is a vehicle to make the paint move and flow. And you can, uh, it's a lot of fun. You don't never know what's gonna happen. It's spur of the moment and spontaneous. So um, this one ends up looking a little bit like a jellyfish, but uh, it can be whatever you want it to be. And this last picture is a plein air picture. Um, it's at a garden. Uh, also a member of the Senior Center. It's her, her garden and she shared it with our class. Um, and um, it was just very lovely and shady and it's right here in Milford. Um, has a waterfall with it and uh, just had a lot of fun with the pencils. Thank you for your time. Hi, my name is Mary Tesla. I live in Milford and I take art classes with Gail at the Senior Center in Milford, which is quite enjoyable. Um, whether you consider yourself an artist or not, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and we learn a lot of new techniques. And one of the projects we did was this one, which uh, this is acrylics painted on canvas. And we did this one because of the pandemic and everybody is wearing masks. So this one is my granddaughter. She likes purple, so this was the project for her.
This one is a new a technique for me. This is called gouache. I've never used it before. It's kind of a cross between watercolor and acrylic. Uh, this is Cabo San Lucas, where I go every year in February uh, for vacation in Mexico. Lovely turquoise water, blue skies. <laughs> it's a lovely place to visit. I live in condos by Walnut Beach, and so this we have a bird feeders in our little uh, atrium garden. And so my, I live with my mom, she likes to watch the birds, so this one was painted for her. This is also uh, down at Walnut Beach. This one was just before the hurricane. I took a walk to the beach and just before the rain hit. And so this was the waves and the wind and the sky building up to the hurricane. This one is a rather large piece. It's a um, collage actually, so I'm showing it part at a time. Uh, we had, I had taken a trip to Spain and Portugal with my two grandsons, uh, 16 and 17, and we uh, toured through Portugal and then into Madrid and then up through to Barcelona and then we took a cruise from Barcelona. So it was a lovely three week trip. So these were photographs uh, that I had taken and then I painted them. These are in watercolor. So I hope you've enjoyed all of the students' artwork and the progression of their skills. And if you'd like to be a part of the art class, please reach out to the Milford Senior Center and they'd be happy to set you up with the program schedule.